Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines for a much-anticipated main event. Ten rounds of heavyweights. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up and let's go. Well, they are underway, scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two. Think about the great historic moments in the sport, and many times you think about the one single big punch that finished a great fight. He's the kind of fighter that can do that here tonight. Yeah, and more importantly than that, yeah, he has the power, but there's been other guys. Ernie Shavers had great power. He never won the heavyweight title. You have to... Chico's in bad shape. He doesn't look good, but yet he's throwing rather than clinching. Big shot. He goes down. He has so much time now, he's going to be forced Two. to survive. And somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. Chico's tagged. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him. A guy that's going to move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. Nice combo by Alvarez. If you're the well-rounded fighter in a matchup like this against the real heavy hitter, I'm assuming the last thing you want to do, even though throughout your career you have punched well and you do have knockouts on your record, is to engage him in the only kind of fight he can win? Yeah, don't go down to his level is what the old-timers would say. You know that you can win so many ways. Why go into a place that is the only place he has a chance? Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Takes a step back, then the counter punch by Chico. Very similar to what you see Floyd May. Chico's corner now with a big task at hand. They've got to make sure that their fighter has his senses back after being knocked down. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. A well-placed left hand up top. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Alvarez. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Oh, very nice, smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Super two-punch combo by Alvarez. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Takes one, but get big, big shot comes crashing home. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. 
This is why the fans love this game when it's at its absolute best. This round can't get any better, yet they're trying to make it better. It's wearing us out. Imagine what they feel like. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Nice block by Chico. Double jab, such a useful tool, especially to the body like that. Fight. He's been knocked down numerous times, including the last round. You're probably right, Joe, but when things are darkest is when you find out what is special inside somebody, where they can go to a place you never expect them to be able to go to. Look at Archie Moore, Yvonne Durrell, years ago. Archie Moore was over 40 years old, in there with a 20-something-year-old Durrell. He was on the floor three times in the first round. He found a way to come back and knock him out in the 11th. Is this another one of those nights? Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Good flush shot by Chico. Alvarez is putting together punch stats tonight that fall right in line with what his strategy is. Outside fighter, throwing lots of jabs, landing lots of jabs. Well, what it is is the jab is the table setter, and the jab tonight has set up the table where he's been able to eat whenever he's wanted. Chico's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Chico's on the wrong end of a destructive uppercut. By Ricardo Alvarez. Stunned by a... There it is! Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got callous here. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Alvarez. There's an excellent combination by Alvarez. Comes right back with a shot of his own. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Perez is putting on a show through three rounds. Start of round four. He's up two rounds to one according to your scorecard, but as we've seen, this is a little bit of an elevator fight. Both men have been up and down. Yeah, and that's good for him because he knows. Chico stunned and staggered. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only Solid. Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got floored. You can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's going to step in now and stop this. Eight, nine, ten. The ref stops the fight. Chico's hand to be raised in victory. He scores the knockout here tonight. What?